Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at something that's uh, not on the market yet. And the, the reason why I need to stress this, so I keep making videos of new stuff. And then the comments underneath get kind of flooded with people going, why can't I find it at such and such a shop? Why can't I find it at another shop? This isn't out yet. The only other ones of these that I'm aware that exist are at Computex at the moment, maybe going back to the Corsair Labs and Estates. This one was actually left behind and uh, one of the product managers actually flew it over to me last week. Now what it is, is a Corsair 600T and they're going to be doing a new um, SK, SKU of it, whatever you want to call it, SKU, however you want to put it, they're going to be doing a new one and this is kind of a silver stroke gunmetal colour. Um, so I want to bring you in and have a look at that. It's not changed apart from the colour. So it's a good old fashioned 600T as we would expect it. Now what I want to do um, is I'm going to do uh, a look around so we can have a good look at the colour and our thoughts on it and we'll, we'll do a video like that. But I wanted to do a modding guide with it because I've, I've got, as I started to get bits out, there's quite a few things that uh, I, I could cover. But I thought to myself, if I kind of roll it in with this video, it'll make it kind of difficult for people to it might not get picked up you know in the searches and stuff so I'm going to split the two videos up so what we'll do is we'll have a good look at this and concentrate on the colour with this one and uh, yeah just basically a bit about the colour and the case and then I'm going to do a second video with my kind of thoughts and take and kind of uh, maybe just some ideas for you all on what you can do with the 600T if you want to get handy with your tools so what I'm going to do now is uh, bring you in for a closer look and we'll get this side of the video done first. Okay then, so look, moving on to the colour. Now I'm sure there's many of you that are all you know, quite familiar with the design of the 600T, um, but we'll, we'll go around and basically look at the way the colour looks with this on the curves. Um, now I, obviously I have got my studio lights and stuff on but I am kind of no, liking the way that the colour picks up on the, the edge of the case. Now one thing I will say is uh, when I first got told by Corsair they were uh, sending me a silver 600T I was expecting kind of this colour, like a proper silver. I would say this is a gunmetal, gunmetal grey and I, I personally will kind of step out there because I've spoken to this with a few of my colleagues at OC3D, I think the silver stroke gunmetal was going to be the new in colour. Um, obviously we've got white cases being flooded left, right and centre, but I do foresee quite a few grey and gunmetal cases being brought out over the next 12 months, 18 months. So we'll see how that goes. Um, now, the, the, this gunmetal, uh, it's, it's not a gloss colour. Um, at very, very best, it's a satin, to be honest with you. Um, uh, and you can really see that when you look at the side panel. If you have a look at the handle, you can see that there's no overgloss or anything around the edge. It's quite a flat colour, but that's not a bad thing. Um, also, as it is, there is an, an air of a, a metallic there. Bring the camera out so it can cope a little bit better. There we go. When you look really, really closely to it, you can see some little sparkly bits there which do work quite nicely and that's really what's catching the light. Um, I do quite like the way the black and the um, silver go together. It's definitely something that is quite a grower. And I'm just going to tilt the camera down a little bit so you can see the bottom of the case. I do, it, it is a really nice colour. I know this is, we're just going to be saying me, it's going to be a video of me saying it's a really nice colour and it works with the black. Well, it does. Uh, it really does. Um, if I bring you back up again. No, I've not got a new tripod. I've just taken my time and not rushing too much. I'm going to show you the, kind of the front panel. In fact, I'm going to move the case over a little bit to see if I can actually get it lined up for you. There we go. Even the buttons on the top of the grey, obviously they've carried it on into the, um, the, the fan controller. The, the markings for everything else is actually quite subtle. It's like a real dark kind of grey kind of 
colour for the indentation, not the indentations, for the printing. It's pretty cool actually, I quite like that because it's really quite subtle. Um, now what I'm going to do is just uh, whiz the side panel off quick and then I'll rejig the camera. And come back. Hopefully the uh, camera won't spaz out with the light too much. It's being quite bright today. In fact, it almost looks better without the studio lights on, so we'll leave that off like that for a second. Uh, internals are black, uh, as uh, they have been with uh, the graphite grey straight black case, depending on which way you like to look at it. Um, and then obviously there was the white one as well. So this is the third colour in the range. And it pretty much follows on from everything else that you're going to you would have expected before. White LEDs in the front and in the roof, 200 millimeter fans. One thing to remember with this is the roof fan and the front fan is actually only 20 millimeters thick. Most normal case fans are 25 millimeters thick. Um, with the case, you can fit H100 in the in the roof, but just so that you know, single set of fans only, and you do need to put the fans outside. Um, this is something that I really want to cover a little bit more in like the modding guide stroke side of things anyway. Because I really did just want to talk to you about uh, this case. Now, one thing that you may have uh, noticed, eager-eyed, is that uh, the case does come with a side panel window. Now, the original 600Ts didn't. The white one was the first one that actually came with the window. And then you could replace it with the mesh. There is no replacement mesh with this case that I've received. We need to remember that this isn't a, technically a retail sample. Uh, it's like an early one they've sent me out. The ability is there, you can still screw it in, it's exactly the same type of panel but until they go out you're not going to know whether you're going to be able to put mesh on the side. I actually personally don't like the mesh on the side of the case so this actually quite uh, pleases me. Um, but other than that it is a 600T and it, they basically just changed the colour. Now obviously we've got like I said we've got different light, I'll move it back a little bit more. I personally do quite like this, I think that a really nice dark build case in this, plenty of dark parts, could end up working really really well. Um, I, I almost think because to me the colour of this, uh, I was expecting it to be lighter. Um, there we go, studio lights back on. I was expecting it to be lighter. I think this uh, would have been an amazing colour for the graphite to have originally been. Obviously, the, the market and the industry has changed a bit and kind of alleviated our way of you know being able to have this now. But what I'm going to do is obviously we've we've had a first look at this. I need to kind of. Uh, Rejig the camera now so we can have a good uh, chat about what we think and my personal thoughts on the colour and uh, this case. Right then, and just to confuse you, I'm sat on the other side now. Right, so the gunmetal grey, because uh, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm not going to call it the silver 600T, I'm going to call it the gunmetal grey 600T. When they first said to me they were going to send me a silver one, I was expecting a much lighter colour. Uh, especially after the original graphite case. I was expecting them to have gone quite literally with a silver, kind of a metal kind of colour. Um, just to kind of grab a cup quickly, I was expecting kind of this kind of colour, like the OC 3D cups that we had done. Um, no, you can't get them. Uh, I was expecting it to be a much lighter colour like that, maybe a little bit more sparklier. Because to me, what I would say is the colour I was expecting and then the graphite original case, this kind of colour fits kind of in between. It's a lot more subtle than I was expecting. Uh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because maybe the market's not necessarily ready for a full-on silver case that's not necessarily like a bare aluminium colour, because that was the kind of colour I originally had in my head before I saw it. Um, I do like the way you've got kind of quite a dark kind of gunmetal colour with the black. It does work. There's other cases about in the market that are this colour. Um, and I've also seen uh, pictures of a couple of other cases, kind of uh, rumoured, let's say. Uh, and there's another one that's uh, actually at Computex at the moment as well. 
So it's a colour that's definitely coming through. Now one thing I do need to say is this is a very, very early sample. And the reason why Corsair have sent it to me is so that we can, or so I don't want to say we, is so they can get a little bit of feedback uh, from this. This is pretty much 99% going to end up going into production and be available from, of, with, of the stores. That's why they've taken it to Computex. So they definitely want your feedback on this. Is this the type of colour that you like? Well, you know, are you, do you like the 600T in the first place? I've actually always been quite a fan of this case. Um, and one of the things that that's why I'm going to do kind of a modding guide in a separate video is to be able to show you there are quite a few things that you can do with it. There's several things that have come to the market now that uh, you, you can do a lot more with the rig but still have good performance. Whereas when it first came out to have been able to have done some of the things that I'm going to talk to you about, it wouldn't necessarily have been possible. Stroke, you wouldn't have had very good performance out of it. Mainly, the radiator technology has changed a lot. Radiators are so much better now than they were when the 600T first came out. Um, so there's that side of it. Uh, the colour, um, we will see how it, uh, it goes down. I, to be perfectly honest with you, I much prefer this shade to the original graphite colour. If I really do. Uh, it's so, so much of a nicer colour. The, the, the graphite colour, the only way I can explain that is it, and I said it at the time, I think, it kind of looked like the colour that my oven trays were. Um, I really didn't, I didn't get that colour. I think it should have just been black rather than the graphite. But that's kind of where the graphite name came from anyway. So that's kind of, you know, recovering old ground. This, I think, is really nice, really nice. Like I said, if you had, for argument's sake, if you had like a sabre tooth inside, MSI do all blackboards now. Um, Gigabyte actually do all blackboards as well. Uh, the UD3R X79, or sorry, the UD3 X79, that's all black. Those kind of things would tie in really, really well with this. But uh, we're very much going to end up going into the modding guide. Um, but as far as the colour's concerned, uh, obviously like black cables, white cables I think would be good. Kind of get a little bit of a mix inside. Just that flash of colour. Don't go overboard with it. Um, and you can make these look really nice. There's a, even red can look okay with uh, gunmetal grey if you don't go overboard with it. It's, um, it's definitely something that I want to cover separately in the other reviews. Because like I said, these, these videos are very, very close and I thought by separating them out a little bit, we wouldn't uh, confuse the topic, maybe make them a little bit smaller for those of you out there that don't like them. But don't worry, the modern guys are going to be massive anyway. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think. Now this is something, this next thing is something that uh, I have discussed with Corsair um, and it's, it's basically something that it came up in a conversation the other day um, and I don't think it's they, they took one to Computex but there is, um, I think the best way I can put it, there is rumours of uh, a Nissan blue case. And by the Nissan blue, I mean like the really nice metallic-y kind of almost pearl looking that they used on the Skylines and the 350Zs. Just Google Nissan blue and you'll see the colour that I mean. Um, there's rumours that that Corsair have been uh, looking at the possibility of doing another limited edition uh, in that blue colour. And what would you think about that? It's very much because I've uh, kind of get a little bit of feedback and then obviously Corsair watch these videos anyway. Um, so they'll be looking at the comments to see whether you'd like it. Uh, so imagine this, but in blue. Now I personally think that this is just my take on it. If they were going to go nuts with a blue like that, then the black, yeah, it'd look all right. But I think it would look much nicer if they just went right. If we're going to do a blue, then we'll just go nuts and we'll do uh, it blue where the, the silver would have been, but then where the black would have been, including the inside, we'll do that white. I'd be very, very, very happy if they did a limited run of those. Um, but anyway, yes, uh, discuss the kind of the possibility of the blue. It's all feedback. It's not what, don't think that we're trying to get them to do it. It's just... It's a rumour, may never ever get put into production, but if it did get put into production, would it be something that you'd be thinking about buying? This, I would have thought, you'll be able to get in the shops. It's going to be at least a month, and I do mean at least a month. There's no set time scale for this. It could be a month, it could be two months. 
but it's another one where, like I, I said at the beginning of the video, Corsair have sent it to kind of get a little bit of feedback from you guys to see what you think about this colour. I'd very much like to see this in the shops. Very much like to see this in the shops. I'm kind of getting a bit bored with just black and white. So to kind of mix in with silver and gunmetal, it's still quite, um, it's not like a, a stupidly brave colour or anything like that, but it just kind of mixes it up a bit. And uh, it, it gives people a chance to be a little bit more artistic. Um, obviously like the silvers and stuff are going to go in it work really nice with like nickel water blocks and stuff like that because you can get that kind of real nice monochrome feeling really really easily when you think about it um, but again we're all falling into the, the, the modding guide now which is pretty much what I'm going to uh, video directly after this whether I upload it straight away or not I don't know um, but yeah please let me know what you think about the Corsair Gunmetal Grey 600T uh, we, you may even uh, get some videos out of me at this long term. I normally end up shooting myself in the foot with this because I say I might do this and then three months later people are like, oh, have you done that video yet? Well, if I, do you know what I mean? If I haven't, then I haven't. But a lot more recently uh, I've been, because I, obviously I get a lot, a lot of cases come through, but every time a case comes I think to myself, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this, and that'd look amazing in there, and it makes me want to do it straight away. Um, and it's almost like I need 48 hour days or 72 hour days to be able to cram everything in. But, I'm sorry, I am waffling. Please let me know what you think about the uh, Gunmetal Grey Corsair 600T. I'll tell you one thing that would really be nice for those of you that have actually made it right to the very end, is uh, if, you, if you like the case and it's something that you'd like to build in it, literally put underneath what you'd like to do with it and I mean down to every last detail I'd use these blocks I'd use these color cables I'd use this I'd use that because people like me that can read through those specs can then kind of piece it up in my head and like piece the rig together and I can see it that's kind of the way my head works um, so yeah let me know what you think I personally if I was going to do it I'd be going as I said nickel black um, and kind of keeping it all a little bit understated. Uh, there's something that, to me that's saying to me that even maybe a mirror panel in the floor might work well with this. But anyway, modding guide very much again. So I'm going to leave the video here. Please, I'm going to try and remember to put a link in the, the top when I've done the other video. I will be doing a modding guide for the 600T as well. So for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.